Victoria is way better than any other Disney princesses and she deserves her very own castle. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no! It is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempest and is ne'er shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometime declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come, love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, and in eternal lines to time thou growest. If this be error, and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> you look like a princess. Thank you. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. Um, I thought you could wear this in your pocket. I will. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Don't mess up your makeup. Okay. Aren't <laughs> <laughs> you pretty? Hey. You look like a princess. This wedding, as I say, took a lot of uh, determination and a lot of persistence, and that is like a marriage is. I've seen over the past few years the dedication and persistence and commitment of Victoria and Michael to this task and to each other. So you're going to have a great opening night. Good things are worth waiting for. Two are better than one. Watching Victoria and Michael together is like watching a pair of jazz musicians. There is, to quote Shakespeare's Henry V, a muse of fire that lives within both of them. Michael. I don't have a dollar to my name, an acre of land, a troop to command, a dollar for fame. All I got's my honor, a tolerance for pain, a couple of college credits and my top-notch brain. Victoria and Michael are storytellers. They see the world in terms of what can be, what is possible. You love me exactly as I am, because we are cut of the same cloth, of the same mind, and we have the same heart. Jiminy Cricket. 
once told me that the most amazing things can happen, and it all starts with wish. And I would not wish any other companion in the world but you. After all, I did trade in my fins for legs because I wanted to be a part of your world. <laughs> I promise to never embarrass you in public by making it weird. <laughs> I promise to tease and pick and shenanigate for as long as it makes you laugh. Because I live for your laughter. <laughs> we will be together until there's no one left who has ever known us apart. I pronounce that you are husband and wife. <laughs> Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. I remember when Michael first started dating Victoria and talked to me about her. I, I had a feeling this was going to be someone very special. I saw the excitement in Michael's eyes and in his whole being, and I was so excited for him. He talked about the way she truly listened to him, how she was able to laugh with him. I remember having dinner with her and Michael afterwards and seeing the way the two of them interacted. She was treating him the way he deserved to be treated and that I, as his friend, had so longed to see him be treated by a partner. I was finally able to breathe a sigh of relief because I knew for the first time that my best friend was safe and would be well taken care of and nurtured the way he deserves. Now Vic, I have seen you wear fairy wings and overalls to high school. Uh, I have seen your collection of Mickey ears, which is larger than my collection of sneakers, I think, at this point. But I have never seen you more yourself than when you are with Michael. Uh, one of Victoria's and my favorite movies, Moulin Rouge, exclaims, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and to be loved in return. And that is what I see when I look at you too. The course of true love that will, in fact, this time run smooth. You two are a great example of real life magic on earth. Disney firework magic. The way you communicate, the way you get each other, the way you respect and accept each other. I know that this is a forever love. I knew it from the moment she first spoke about you, Michael, and she did too. May the love that you feel today always be a part of your world. 
May your life together be a reflection of that love. May you push each other over the finish line when you are almost there. And may you never forget that the dream, the wish that your heart makes, is each other. And when you are lost in the woods, let love be the open door that guides you home.